you guys. So today we are rounding fractions. And I know that might sound kind of weird, but just like we've done before, we've rounded decimals. Um, and we're going to go ahead and round fractions. So we always have benchmark fractions to round to. We're going to either round it to a zero, a half, or a whole. Okay, those are our benchmark fractions, which means those are going to be our three possible answers while we do this lesson. If you're following along in McGraw Hill, I am chapter nine, lesson one. So let's say we have the following fraction, five sixths, and they say round it. So what you're rounding it to is you're going to say five sixths is, is closer to one, closer to a half, or closer to a zero. How do we figure that out? You need to draw a number line. So be sure you have lots of room on paper to draw your number lines. Okay, so this is how we draw fractions on a number line. Remember that six is how many pieces I have. I have six pieces. So that means I would need to draw five lines inside. Okay, and then we need to label it. So this would be zero six. This would be one six, two six, three six, four six, five six. And the end is six out of six, which also means one whole. Okay. Where is 5 out of 6? You need to label it. 5 out of 6 is right here, okay? And we want to round it. Is it closer to a whole? Is it closer to 0 or closer to a half? Well, where's half? Half would be halfway, which would be 3 out of 6. And how do I know that? Because 3 is half of 6, so my half is right here. So, um, and I'm sorry, I don't want to draw a dot, but I'm going to write that this is also a half. So where is it closer to? Well, it's only one space from a whole, but it's two spaces from a half and five spaces from a zero. And remember, we're either going to round it to one of these three. So it's closest to a whole. So we're going to say five, six is rounded up to one whole. Okay. All right, let's do another one. So each time you're going to label a number line and then decide, is it closer to zero, a half, or a whole? That one happened to be rounded to a whole. Let's do one where it's a different scenario. Let's say I have one-eighth. Okay, so draw your number line. Remember, I have eight pieces, which means I need to draw seven lines. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be zero eighths. This would be one whole or eight out of eight. And then I need to fill it in. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, and seven eighths. Where is my one eighth? Right here. Don't forget to label your half. Half would be here because it's right in between. It's half of the whole and four is half of eight. So it's the same thing. All right, is my one eighth closer to zero, closer to a half, or closer to a whole? Well, hopefully you can just eyeball it. It's only one away from zero, while it's one, two, three away from a half, and seven away from a whole. So it's closer to zero. So we're gonna say one eighth is rounded to a zero. All right, let's do one more with a different scenario, and then you guys should be good to go. Let's say I have five ninths. All right, so the denominator represents how many I have. I have nine pieces, so let's go ahead and draw nine, which means I need eight lines, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be zero out of nine. This would be one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six, seven, eight, and nine ninths. Okay, one half is going to be somewhere right about here, okay? Because I'm just eyeballing it, but if this was up to scale like it will be in your book, you'll be able to see where halfway is, okay? So where is five ninths? Five ninths is right next to it, actually. So five ninths is one, two, three, four away from a whole, right? This is the one. So one, it's four away from the whole. It's super, super close to a half. And it's one, two, three, four, five away from zero. So it's closest to a half. So we're gonna say five ninths is rounded to one half. 
All right, you guys, I hope you have fun with rounding your fractions. Don't forget to label your number lines properly, and that will help you round.